does your mail, mail carrier leave your packages like this? I mean, jeez. Okay, we are finally here. I mean, just, just look how they treated my package. But I have a new setup. So this is like a home studio update. And I know you're wondering why. t -Med, you showed us this setup that you had. And now what's going on? Let me tell you. This is a setup that I break up, break down. Sometimes when I get shoots at other people's homes, and so in the midst of me doing that at one point, this happened to happen. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> this backdrop has been rigged so i was in the market for something more durable something definitely more portable and i looked i searched and i found the impact veripole support system now you might know that manfrotto also has a similar one but it is a little steeper in price so I decided to go with the Impact Verapro. So I'm gonna unbox it, show you what I got, simple setup, and then I'm gonna replace that with this. I'm still not gonna throw this away though. I'm, you always gotta keep something. It, it was still working, but this is gonna make my setup a lot easier because with this, you know, you get one side and you have to itch this side up especially if you're a one-man army like me you pull this side up then you go to that side lift it up with that lock it in place and boom done it's over so let's go ahead and see what we got i mean they they just don't handle packages right anymore right this is like halfway open Okay. So, in box number one, we have we have two super clamps. And the reason why I got these two super clamps is because these two super clamps are what you put on the pole replacements so that you can then add these U-hook crossbar holders, which will eventually be holding the Savage Seamless backdrop paper and pole. Now they do have a pole also that you could buy with this system, but I already had this one from the previous set. So I was like, you know, I don't need it. And by the way, these were $20 each. So this was $40 right here. These hooks were $9, rounded up to 10. So this was $50 right here. Now for the big box. We have this one right here. We have, these are the actual support poles. So these support poles are what's going to make my life a lot easier. Let's see what's the best way to get inside this box. 
Now the support poles, as you can imagine, were the biggest expense. And so I paid 160 for both poles. So not too bad. I think I definitely got a good expense. Let's see how much space I need. Okay, we got boxes inside of boxes and it tells me to open it here. So let's see. So this might be a good solution for you if you are in looking for a setup yourself because the reason that I got this is because it is all based on tension. You have a floor, you have a ceiling or stud or beam that you can mount these to, lock it into place, good to go. Now the max ceiling height with this is I believe six feet, 11 inches. I'll double check that, but as you can see, it has some instructions in it. And let's just see. Should be pretty simple enough, so. Okay. I will say this ceiling is at least about eight and a half, nine feet, somewhere around there. Okay. So it has a safety release. So you press that up and it unleases this latch. Okay. Now this is a tensioner. It gives you um, some precision. So if you need a little bit of give, a little bit of leeway, or you want it to be extra tight, then you could play with this. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to extend it to my drywall and then I'm going to latch it down. And there we go. That's, that's pretty simple. This is why I got this. <laughs> I mean, with that, I will have to play with it, wrestle with it, you know, break it down, all those things. But just look how easy it was. There's no hustle and bustle. So I can break this down and I can actually put it in my car if I'm going to go do a shoot somewhere. And it's not a hassle for me. So now I got these clamps. And let's actually take a dive into these. Now, I wish that all these had came together, but of course they got to sell things separately. So let's, let's unwind this clamp and let's actually get a, let's get one of these hooks out. Same, and this is just a simple hook also, and it snaps right into this, there's a, a fitting right there, but it, it, it literally goes right into this hexagon head filling and then tighten it up. And now I'm just gonna unloosen this clamp and I'll put it right here. So the, the good thing about this is like, even when you break this down, you probably don't have to remove this clamp, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's so easy to, to put up that it's like not an issue. Okay, so we have it up. Now, we got a lot of instructions right here. Okay, but you can, you can just see how seamless this is. And so this is why I actually got this specific setup. 
So I'm trading this out for my old rusty, still got the job done in the studio, but I knew it was time to get something better and something that was more portable, easier to use. They can give me too much of a struggle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up the other side and replace these. And we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, so I'm with this safety latch and I'm just gonna replace these ones I have here. So I don't have to do too much. I wanna try to get it as close as possible to the spot it already was. And the nice thing is it will save me some room. Okay, y'all might have seen me struggling a little bit. I figured out that there is like actually a safety release to let the hook in. So you have to hit the safety release down to let the hook slide and lock in. And then there's a knob to even secure it some more. So it's like a two security step. So let me go back and do this one right here. Okay, we are good to go. So, little nuances here and there that I had to go through since I didn't read the instructions, right? But for the most part, good to go. So you see how this could be beneficial because now these hooks, virtually, this is the width of a large 108 inch Savage seamless paper backdrop. So to be honest, I don't even have to change this because even if I wanted to put the smaller, I think it's about 48 inch Savage backdrop seamless paper, I could just take this off, drop it on and then hook it back on there. And then of course for this setup right here, I have the hook a little low. So I probably would take it up to the ceiling a little bit more and that would be perfectly fine. Wouldn't have to change it. So I just wanted to drop in, show you all the latest purchase for this home studio setup. And I'm sorry, I have to let this go, but this, this will be used for something else. Maybe I can modify it to be some type of stand holder so, and don't throw these things away you know you'll be looking for something to hold something actually there we go right there a new job put one of these clamps on here and now i have a reflector holder <laughs> so it's used for something so in the setup i told you i uh, paid 164 the beam, so about $80 a piece for each beam. Already had the crossbar from this previous setup. The hooks came in a set of two, and those were about $10. And then the clamps, that's where they get you. You have to buy the clamps that take the hooks in order to hang any Savage paper roll. So the clamp's $20 again. So that whole setup has got 50 and 160. So roughly about $210. Not too bad. Um, this setup I know was at least a hundred and something dollars. It came with some lights and things like that. You know, the E-Mark brand on Amazon, but I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. I needed something more portable. Uh, more easy to use and now that I have this set up like this I'm, I'm, I'm so happy with the purchase look at the space one thing that I was running into was these legs were limiting me to being able to get all the way over in that corner and so now 
I don't have to worry about a lag because it's a monopod essentially with an extension. So great thing there. If you have any questions, any questions at all, make sure you drop it in the comments below. If Amazon, UPS, wherever you are, if your mail delivering services delivers your packages like they deliver mine, Put it in the comments below because we, we need to stand up for our packages. I could have had a Nikon Z9 unreleased in one of those boxes. <laughs> T to the M to the IDD. Peace.